Hi, today we are going to classify 196 different classes of cars. So basically a big amount of uh, categories and we will use YOLO V8 in order uh, to, do, uh, to create this model. So we will divide this uh, tutorial for several steps and the first one will be uh, creating a new environment. So we will use the content create in order to create this environment. It will be based on YOLO V8. Okay, next we have to activate this uh, new and fresh environment. So we will use the conda activate uh, command. And next it's really important. We need to install PyTorch, but in order to do that, we need to uh, test and uh, examine what is our current CUDA. As you can see, my current CUDA version is 11.8. So now we will choose a um, PyTorch version that support 11.8. Let's choose, for example, this one, version 2.1.1. Let's copy the command and let's run it. It will take a, um, a few seconds, maybe a minute, in order to install all the requirement uh, Python libraries that come along with the PyTorch. So let's jump directly to the end of this process. And done. Next, we have to install the YOLO V8. In order to do that, we will pip install Ultralytics version 8.1.0 this this is the version that I used in this tutorial so let's wait a few more seconds until the installation will be finished in some of the version of the YOLO V8 there was a, a problem that it installed the OpenCV headless. So if you have a problem uh, using OpenCV with YOLO V8, you have to run uh, the command of uninstalling the OpenCV headless. If uh, So run this command. It will uh, pop up an error message if the headless was not installed. So in order to, uh, uh, to continue, you can run this command and also reinstall the OpenCV just for double check that everything is okay and then we'll continue to the next step. Next we will download the dataset but before that this video is part of a best image classification playlist so you can cover this playlist as well and see other solutions for classifying images. So this is the agriculture pest image dataset as always I will leave a code and the link for downloading this dataset from Kaggle. As you can see, there are several uh, categories of pests. I've downloaded already to my uh, local machine. As you can see, this is for example, beetle images, many types of images in many types of sizes. Let's go for another category. This one, for example, and this is snails. Basically, I will download uh, another image from Google to, to test our uh, model after we finish the training. As mentioned earlier, this for example is the installation part. As you can see all the steps and this is the link for the Kaggle dataset. This is another a Python, a Python file which the target of this Python code is going through the images and splitting the data between train and test. This is the, the source uh, folder of all the images and the target. I will not cover the code, it's very simple, but I will leave the code so you can use it and run it. And basically after running the code, it will create train folder and inside it all the categories and all the images inside each category and a validation a validation folder with the same categories and validation images as part of the source uh, dataset. As you can see, after running this Python code, you creating these both folders. Now let's go to the training, the important part. So if we go through the YOLO V8 GitHub page, you can see that there is a pre-trained model. This, for example, is for object detection and we need for classification. So let's choose 
uh, this one, the 8L, L mean large, as you can see there are uh, five or six type of YOLO V8 models, we will choose the, the large one, let's download it and put it in our local folder. Now we will create a new Python file, let's call it uh, train the model, we will start with importing the relevant Python libraries, the important one is the from Ultralytics, importing the YOLO object. And first of all, we will uh, put the full path for our existing uh, weights, the one that we downloaded before. So this is the full path for the, the weights, for the model, the eight large model classification weights. Next, let's uh, add the path for our images. Please look that we are pointing the path for the images, for the train and the validation as well. The batch side would be 32, means in each batch we will contain 32 images. Let's choose a, a project. The project is the path where we will store the results. And the experiment name under this um, project folder, it will create this name of my model. Now this is the training process. We are sending several arguments, the path for our dataset, how many epochs, let's start with 50 epochs and let's test it over 50 epochs, the training over 50 epochs, our project name and our experiment name, the number of batch size, we chose 32, it's depend on, on your GPU card, the image size, we will like to convert everything to 224 pixels, Patience files means that if the training was not improved after five epochs, it will stop. And now we are ready to run this function, this main function. So this is a regular a Python code of running our main function. And I believe that's it. Let's run the code. And let's see the full process. Okay, this is the loading of the training images, finished correctly, no corrupted. And after that, the validation images as well. And now, as you can see in each epoch, the lost value goes down after each epoch. I believe that we will not need to wait the whole 50 epochs. It will stop before that. And we will examine our results. Okay, after six, six epochs, uh, the model stopped training. Let's go to this folder, this results folder. And first of all, let's go to the confusion matrix, which go with the predicted and the ground truth. And you can see the results are very, very good. Everything, or most of it on the middle. And this is the validation, the validation, the prediction of the validation data, as you can see, the beetles are corrected, are correct, and also the bees. Uh, I believe that we can now test our model on our own image. So I'll download from Google this snail image, and we will try to predict our model using this image. As always, I will leave this image with all the with all the code, so you can test it as well. Okay, the test Python code would be importing um, the YOLO object, NumPy and OpenCV in order to display the images. Let's load our saved model. We should put the full path of our model. We will use the best.pt file. This is the best weights uh, that was created, generated by our model. Now the snail image, this is the path to the image. Now this is the prediction part. We will send in the image path through our model. Let's grab the class names out of the model. This is the command in order to grab the, the names of the categories. Now let's get the predictions out of the results variable. We'll 
convert it to NumPy. And let's print the results. Let's first of all print the list of categories. And let's print the probabilities as well. We are expecting to see a number of probabilities between 0 and 1 for each of the categories. Let's run it. Okay, here is the list of the categories and here is the list of the prediction. Which one is the higher one? Here is the, the one, one before the last one. Okay, now we should grab this one. Let's grab the, the highest value. So what is the best prediction? In order to do that, we will use uh, the argmax function from NumPy and send the probs, the probs uh, values. And after that, we will uh, grab the best prediction name. It's not names, it's name. And let's print it. So now we're expecting to see the text snail. So let's print the number, the, the position, the index uh, of, the, of the category and the name of the category. As you can see, it index number 9 out of 10 and it's a snail. Great! So it predicts correctly. Now let's display the image along with the prediction text. So we will use the I'm read in order to load the image using OpenCV. And now we will add the text using put text function. So we'll send it the, the image, the text, it should be best prediction name, not names, name. The position of the text, we're choosing a font, how thick is the text and the color. The color is zero by zero by zero means black. It's RGB code. And let's display the image. And let's run it. Should be I am sure. Okay, let's run it. Great, as you can see, this is the image with the word snail in the black. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hope to see you in my next videos. Bye bye.